I could talk about Douglas Adams for a good long while, but I'm just now catching up with the videos that my friends have made regarding Douglas Adams and misinterpreting the professor because I didn't give you enough context as to why I found it that way. What Douglas Adams is, is he is an absurdist author. You can view him through an existential lens of everyday things being exact, blown up to a large, almost zoomed-in view. And it can make people uncomfortable because it's their lives. And there's an inherent theatricality whenever you're doing anything regarding people. It's just weird. The amount of things that we do in our modern culture that we consider everyday things... What a lot of Douglas Adams has to do with is an ordinary character being thrust into extraordinary circumstances and having to figure his way out of it. And the circumstances are themselves really inexplicably odd. But this character must work his way around it and find a way to actually deal with all of these horrible and weird things that happen to him. But even with all of his cleverness and all of his writings in Douglas Adams's books, there's elements and kernels of truth, even in all the exaggeration, that when you zoom in on a situation, you see all these things that you kind of vaguely understood, but just the way he says them, and the way he brings them to light in exaggerated form, gives voice to taking a step back and seeing it as, oh, that is really peculiar. Think about the professor, though. So I have met college professors who could and might do this. They have the power to do this. To demand that books out of print be read and reasonable, and you can see that this would be an actual way for a professor to make sure that they don't have to do any teaching. They could just do research and get grants. And Some professors, that's what they like to do. They don't want to lecture students because they're focused on their own education and learning. They've earned their doctorates just so that they can be educational people. They're required to present papers every so often and do that. But this professor is just really odd. In the book, you can kind of understand why he is the way he is odd, but he is not an atypical Douglas Adams character in that he has his own quirks, and you just have to kind of see him through to the end. And the Richard character is just an ordinary, everyday person who's given these extraordinary circumstances and is gradually like the representation of the reader with whom you're to identify throughout the course of the book. But I could talk to you for a while about Douglas Adams and why I find him fascinating, even though I do not agree with him philosophically. I find his perspective to be most insightful, and his conclusions and his way of stating things is very useful for me to be able to contextualize things in this world and to question why we would do them at all. So, those are just my thoughts on the matter.